Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be looking at Enfy's Nest from the Vintage Collection. This is an absolutely fantastic figure, but before we take a closer look at it, let's go ahead and take a look at its packaging. So here it is, it's pretty standard for what we've seen out of the Vintage Collection. Obviously there's a nice image of the character on the front here, as well as the classic Kenner logo. And then on the back, it's got the other figures that were released in this wave, as well as a brief description of the line. Of course, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. Uh, but anyway, pretty standard, so let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself here. Now, Enfys stands at, uh, let's see, about three and three quarter inches tall to the top of her helmet. Uh, so right in scale with all of your other three and three quarter inch figures. And she comes with uh, actually a lot of accessories. I'll look at the first one here. It's her staff, very nicely detailed and painted, which is nice. It's got these little details on it, which I think look very nice. And of course it does actually fit in her hands. And then next she's got these, I guess they're like gauntlet pieces. You get two of each variety. Um, very nicely detailed and painted on both of these and there's just a little peg on the back that you, so you just pull it off and put the other one on and i'll go ahead and show you there one's on the figure so that's like the fanned out one and then here's the the uh, retracted version so pretty cool uh, and they fit in the peg nicely so they're not just going to fall out uh, while you're posing the figure and overall this figure looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it uses the same cloth material as the six inch black series one. So it's got this uh, like orange color on the inside and then black on the outside. So it looks really nice. And as far as articulation on the figure goes, it's pretty good. In the head, uh, she's got a ball peg. Um, not the greatest range of motion, of course, but that's because she's got hair as well as the fur on her shoulders. At the shoulder, she's got a ball hinge that would swivel 360. Um, again, the fur does get in the way, uh, but not enough to like limit articulation that uh, severely. She has hinged elbows with a swivel, and then she's got swivel wrists. She's got what feels like a single ball peg in the torso with an excellent range of motion. And as far as the teeth, or whatever these are, these little spikes on her necklace, they're very soft, so you're not gonna break them off or bend them uh, too bad whenever you're posing the figure, which is nice. At the hips, there's ball hinges, um, as well as a thigh swivel. Uh, which is nice to see. And then of course this little uh, tunic piece here is nice and rubbery so you're not going to uh, have to worry about it getting in the way of articulation. Then she's got hinged knees with a swivel and then hinged ankles uh, with a swivel as well. So overall an absolutely fantastic figure, really cool looking, very well done with a ton of accessories. So I definitely recommend picking this one up 100%. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I guess I'll see you later.